Superstar Chris Paul, the best point guard in the league, has landed in Los Angeles. And Melissa Rowland reporting for the Los Angeles Times. It was a whirlwind, but uh, ultimately uh, I landed here in a great spot here in L.A. with the Clippers, and I I'm excited. First you were a Laker, then you were a Clipper, then you were a Hornet again, then you were a Clipper again. Has it been an emotional roller coaster? It has. It has definitely been an emotional roller coaster. But, uh, you know, they say that after the storm, you know, that rainbow comes out, and I think this is it. This is it because I'm, I'm happy. I'm truly happy, and I'm excited about what the future holds. Uh, I'm grateful to the fans of L.A. who have welcomed me with open arms, and I'm excited about getting out on the court. Who's going to be a better team this season, the Clippers? Or the Lakers? Well, uh, I can't speak for the Lakers, but I can speak for the Clippers. And I tell you, when we step out on that court, uh, the fans will definitely have something uh, to, to be excited about. You and Blake are a dream combination. Is there a certain scenario of you dribbling down the court and dishing the ball to him that you've envisioned in your head? Well, I envisioned those things during the All-Star game here last year, but uh, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. And I tell you, the first time that, that we get that going like that, um, I'll probably be the most excited person. You know, I'll probably be the most excited. Since signing, have you talked to Blake? Yeah, yeah, I have. You know, we, he, um, I've known him for years. I've known him for years. So uh, hopefully he's just as excited as I am. But he's just like me. You know, he's not about all the talking and uh, the pictures and all that different type stuff. He's about getting out on the court and, and doing what he loves to do. So we're just excited to get this opportunity.